Hey guys, Shalev here. For those of you who missed the previous announcements, I do have a newer YouTube channel called The Mind of Brandon. I will have a link to that down below. Uh, but yeah, make sure you go over there and subscribe. It is my main YouTube channel where I am typically uploading my new videos. Uh, that being said, I hope you all enjoy this uh, old video on uh, if the Venus Project is communism. This video, of course, was originally uploaded several years back before the Venus Project and the Zeitgeist Movement had their split and went their two separate ways. But yeah, uh, again, you'll make sure that you uh, visit the new channel. Uh, again, it's going to be linked down below. Go there, subscribe. I need subscribers, right? Help out, right? Uh, but yeah, enjoy the video. Hey guys, I think it's time that I dedicate an entire video to addressing this notion that the Venus Project is COMMUNISM. A reoccurring argument that comes up against the Venus Project. And the point that these people seem to mainly be trying to make is that communism has been done before. It didn't work. It's a failed system. It's never going to work and neither will the Venus Project since it's communism. Now, one of the problems with this, of course, is that, no, the Venus Project is actually not communism, all right? The point these people are making is that communism has been done before. So, has the system advocated by the Venus Project ever been done before? Of course not. When have we ever had a resource-based global economy in which all the drudgery was replaced with automation and we declared the earth and all its resources as the common heritage of all the people of the planet and managed those resources intelligently while applying the scientific method to society. When have we ever done that? Never! It's never been done before! So how can you call it communism? Something that has been done before. Now look, communism is a broad idea with various aspects that make it up. The Venus Project is another broad idea made up of its own aspects. Now, some of the aspects presented in the broad notion of communism could be considered by some to be the same as some of the aspects presented in the broad notion presented by the Venus Project. Some of these aspects would only be vaguely similar, and some of them would be in complete conflict with one another. This means that while these two notions have similarities, they are still incongruent. And that means that the Venus Project is not communism any more than a rectangle is a fucking scaling triangle. Did you guys know that some people think that the United States is a communist nation? They look at the Declaration of Independence. They see all men created equal and they say, ah, that's communism. Some people think Jesus was a communist. Love thy neighbor, give away your possessions. Ah, that's communism. I don't think this. I think they're all fallacious generalizations. But do you guys see where I'm coming from here? People are taking all these different broad ideas. They're able to find some similarities in some of the attributes in these different broad ideas. And so they just generalize them all into the same thing. Now, during the Depression, the founder of the Venus Project, John Fresco, yeah was attending all sorts of different kinds of meetings. Fascist meetings, socialist meetings, communist meetings. Basically, he just wanted to know what people thought. He wanted to hear what they had to say. But while he was attending the communist meetings, he decided to share some of his own ideas in an attempt to help steer these people in a more progressive direction. But they told him that he was deviating from the teachings of Karl Marx. And then they proceeded to kick Jock out of their meetings. See, he came to these people open-minded, looking to make progress. But the way of thinking of these people was established. They're living in a closed-book world. He 
deviating from the teachings of Marx. Now, one of the things in the Communist Manifesto that is pushed is the idea of the human labor force. Which is not surprising since Karl Marx lived and died in the 1800s. But basically, the notion of the human labor force is in complete conflict with what we're advocating with the Venus Project. We want the drudgery to be replaced with automation. And personally, I see this as the difference between slavery and freedom. And that's a big fucking difference. Those two are so different that they are complete opposites. This is communist China. China has a government and uses the renminbi as the people's currency. China also has an army, laws, prisons, police, and a president. Does it sound too dissimilar from the capitalistic United States? Does it? In the system advocated by the Venus Project, government, money, armies, laws, prisons, police, and presidents will all cease to exist because there will be no use for them in a resource-based global economy where resources are intelligently managed, produced in abundance, and made available for everybody, with everyone free from the drudgery. thought I was a communist. And I saw a girl come out, a woman come out with gray hair sticking up. I said, looks like Einstein's sister <laughs> to my friends. And then Einstein came out. And I think it was his sister. <laughs>